you can slow it down some, but just keep the rod tip bent otherwise. You know, it could be a blue marlin, could be a barracuda, anything could have ate it on the way down. We don't really have time to clear it in. So see how it's getting heavy now? Yeah, just let it But look at the rod tip. Watch the rod tip. Once it loads up, then you can slow it down some. It's like hurt. something stopped it from going down. It was only down 1,200 revs. We're setting the bait down. Something ate the bait on the way down, about 1,000 feet down. We're not sure what it is. Could be a junk fish, could be a good fish. Oh yeah, yep, you're good. We got no idea what this is, you guys. We just set the baits out. It's a pretty day though. Calm weather here in Amarada, beautiful day. Keep it coming. Yeah, this is nice and slow, just take it. Back your drag up like half an inch. Okay. Could be a Wahoo or something like that. You know, there's no telling. Okay. Yep, there he is. Shiny. I think it's it a Wahoo. Like Wahoo. It looks like a Wahoo. Yeah. Just keep coming just like that. Smoke's doing all right. Yep, keep coming just like that, yeah. Big Wahoo, big Wahoo. Dang. Oh my God. Get ready. Oh my God. That one's fine right there. Get ready, get ready. Stick them right now, get them. Oh my God, look at that Wahoo baby. Oh my gosh. High five, very nice. I've been out here 15, over 15 years dropping swordfish baits. I've never caught a Wahoo on one. We just got a, you just got a 50 pounder, baby. Look at that. Oh my God. Holy moly. You'll be all right, you'll be good. No, you're good, you're good, you're good. No, no, you're good, you're good. This one's fine. Look at that Wahoo, guys. Pull that sucker in here. That's a 60 pounder, baby. Oh my word, look at that. So I have never seen that before. We have made thousands of swordfish drops and a giant Wahoo ate it on the way down. Oh my gosh, look at that. Bean, that's your bait, buddy. That's your bait, Bean. Right there. That is a lucky start of the day. <laughs> no, that's the biggest wall who ever caught her of all Marad, and that was unexpected. <laughs> Look at those teeth. Oh, they got sharp teeth. They could bite. That thing could bite your hand off. Look at that. <laughs> what a way to start the day. We have got sashimi now. That's awesome. Yeah, that's too funny. Never seen that before. I was, I was like, I was like, oh, we're on bottom. Like, it won't go down no more. Pull it out more. It ain't in a hurry. Actually, just lay a minute and then we'll cover them up afterwards. Oh, dang. Look at that Wahoo there. He's in. That's a Freeman fish box now. What an epic way to start the day. Now we're trying to catch a swordfish. And they brought something special with them today. I usually I bring one, but that bought a whole bushel of bananas. So four bananas and a big wahoo off of Amarada. Look at this. So we just brought up our swordfish bait, you guys. There's a huge tentacle on it right there. Look at the size of those suckers. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh wow, it's still sucking. Holy moly. So that squid, I mean, it's still sucking onto us. Look at the little suckers on it. Look at that. That's crazy. Ah, I would have liked to have seen that squid. That had to be a big one. He's still sucking onto the boat. So that was a big squid, you guys. All we got was his tentacle, though. I would have liked to have seen him whole. He's probably three foot long or more. Calamari. Who wants calamari? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Let him suck onto you. <laughs> That's weird, huh? Yeah. yeah Just never know. I mean, that was the old Kraken down there. He destroyed our bait. We had to get a new bait on there. Oh yeah, he ate the bait apart. Here we go. Look at that thing. I mean, you can see that thing sucking onto him still. That's crazy. Go. We're in the shipping lanes. It's that big ship out there going by. 
We're trying to catch fish. He's moving product. Whatever he's moving. So it is 2.51, we have not had a swordfish bite yet. We got that really nice wahoo this morning, which was a nice surprise. We got a mahi on now, it ate a flat line a bit, we had drifting. Lots of scattered weed out here. Hoping to get a sword bite still, and hopefully we'll get this mahi for a few tacos. Hope I don't miss doing it one-handed. Oh, we got him. <laughs> mahi! There you go. There you go. And the cooler he goes. We still got time to get a swordfish. It's almost three o'clock, but it ain't over yet. Stranger things have happened, guys. Stranger things have happened. So it is 5.46 p.m. We started sword fishing just before eight o'clock this morning. So over nine and a half hours, nine hours and 45 minutes. We have not had a swordfish bite all day. Almost 10 hours of fishing. We did get a really nice wahoo, which was a surprise. We got a couple of mahi. We're gonna run back to Bud and Mary's and uh, cut up a few fish and get that guy here tomorrow. Hopefully find a swordfish, so here we go. Uh, All right, so we're back at Bud and Mary's here. We're gonna see what this thing weighs. Just go up just high enough that we can read that scale nice and easy. We're gonna find out, here it goes. There you go, perfect. Oh, 68.69. Who doggy. 69 pound wahoo off Al Murata. We'll take it. Biggest one I've ever caught here myself. Good job. 69 pounder, baby. <laughs> you. <laughs> nice. There we go. Hang on, man. So we got a couple of mahi in there. And a big old wahoo here. He had the length and uh, travel and fish there. Big old head on him shoulders. There you go. Wahoo. I went drop and this old wahoo cheese. And this is what he weighs. 69. 69 69 pound wahoo. That's a big one. Yeah. Even Uncle Jeff says it's big. Huh? I said even you said it's big, you know it's a good one then. Yeah, that's a big one. Big one. Yeah. About 12, man, 15 still is deep, yeah. I'd say. Yeah, that's a big one. Beauty. There we go. Look at that. Dude, that is the best Fresh fish. wahoo right there. Wahoo, wahoo. <laughs> you could not have caught a better fish. Yeah. Fresh wahoo. Um, there's some bags probably on that side of the cleaning table, like 100 feet that way. There you go. Beauty. Beauty. Look at that meat. Now Wahoo is great sushi. It's great on the grill. Great seared in the pan. A lot of people eat it raw. So we don't catch many of them here. This is a nice one. On the swordfish rod. 25 miles. 25 miles. You hit him on the way down or what? Yeah. I think that dude would have to be a deep drop for the day. Something hit me on the way down. It did? Got all my legs really? Yep. You want to rinse it off before I bag it up? I wouldn't. Um, you can if you want, but... Just best just wipe it down? Yeah, I just wipe it down once you get down there later on. There we go. So that is half of a 69 pound Wahoo. You guys get the point of the picture there. Right We're going to flip into the other side. These guys are taking a bunch home and we're probably going to scrape the carcass a little bit and get a little sushimi appetizer to bring home for Sarah and Sadie, so we'll start up in his head here first. Way up inside there. We're not going to get a ton, but we just want a nice appetizer there. We just want enough to give Sadie and Sarah some. 
Nice little chunk right there. And we'll do that same set on the other one too. Just like that. Some Wahoo head meat. We got a couple little pieces like that. And I'll kind of feel on the backbone here. We can just scrape these little slivers off. Now you're not gonna get a ton, but you can pick it apart and that right there, I mean, that's sashimi. That's raw. That's fresh wahoo right there. We just need enough to keep them happy. Because if I don't bring wahoo home to them, them girls are gonna be angry. <laughs> we don't want that. Sadie gets cranked. I brought a bunch of cookies and sweets, so I'm gonna give those to Sadie and I'll give Sarah some wahoo to start. So you get the point, we're just gonna do that, get a little bit more. We'll be back at home in a few minutes. See you guys there. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's she's what we got here, Sarah? Fresh wahoo? Wahoo. There it is. What is it? Uni or something? What are they called? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Fresh wahoo getting sliced up. We're gonna do a little sushi appetizer, sashimi style. Coming up. Sarah is slicing and dicing. There it is. We've got some guests here too. Sadie's over there with everybody making some ruckus. They're fishing. Wahoo! So much. You like the sushi? Baby bib. Yeah, that's terrible, isn't it? you like the sushi? So we got spaghetti, we got some stone crab claws, frozen because it's out of season now. But um, <laughs> we've got Wahoo on the table and Sadie is going to town. Look at this. Look at this. I want to prank back several years back when he was on that lake. Want another bite, Sadie? There you go. Dipping it? Do you like it? Is that for me? Oh, Sadie gave me a bite. Mm. It's on the table. Wahoo is, I'm not a big sushi guys. Not a big sushi fan as you know, but Wahoo is one of the best, no doubt about it. Sadie is loving it. She's eating it. A little soy down there. She gave me a bite and I'm gonna give her a bite. Here you go, Sadie. Right there, dip it in the soy sauce right there. Ready, Sadie? Do you like it? Oh, you love it. <laughs> well, that's a lot of, a lot of soy sauce. <laughs> I gave her heavy soy that time. I give her the wasabi. Wahoo is one of my favorite, probably my top favorite sushi fish. I, I, I like it better than tuna. So Sadie ate three or four bites, now she's dipping it in the sauces. I want now. You want more? Right here. Here we go. We need Franker's opinion. Franker, tell us how the Wahoo tastes. So if you get some Wahoo, we put it in the freezer, got it nice and cold, made it firm, then we could thin it real, then we could slice it real thin, and uh, just dip it in soy sauce, there's some wasabi there. What do you think, Frank? How's it taste? Mm. Would you eat it all? Son, you have got to try some of that. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You know, do you believe yesterday the 69 pound fish was just swimming around in the ocean? And for those of you that are gonna say you're not supposed to eat sushi while you're pregnant, that's a wives' tale. You're not supposed to eat sushi at some random nasty restaurant where you don't know where it's been from, but we know this was caught yesterday and we prepped it correctly, so it's perfectly safe. <laughs> there you go. And never eat sushi at a gas station. Yes, never. <laughs> that's what I'm getting at. <laughs> John, I know you're hungry. Come get some of that sushi. I'll be there in a second. Uh, Miss Chris is trying it. What do you think? Is it good? You like it? Very, very good. Yes. It ain't no bass in that Georgia pond, huh? It is not. It is not a nasty catfish. <laughs> there you go. It is fabulous. Glad to hear it. So if you get some wahoo, do it sashimi style. You got to try it. Get it nice and cold. Cut it thin. Dip in some soy. If you like wasabi, mix it in with some wasabi. It'll be good. Here we go. Let's get this. That little tiny piece. This very good. Very, very good. All right. We're going to keep eating dinner, you guys. We got some friends over and uh, hope you all enjoyed that video. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. We'll see you all next time. It's been slow on the swordfish lately, but hopefully we get back on them soon. We need to catch some more fish like that. So we're gone. We'll see you guys later. Say bye, Sadie. Focus. <laughs> Focus. Wow. There we go. That one's fine right there. Get ready. Get ready. Stick them. Right now. Get them. Oh my god. Look at that Wahoo baby. Oh my gosh. Have fun. Very nice. I've been out here 15, over 15 years dropping swordfish baits. I've never.